experiments have been going smoothly, but we still can't get the desired outcome. Why? The artificial retroactive rain project has advanced to its second phase. We have various evidence that this ancient civilization was the whining Aix's Maya at some point. We believed we could recreate that divine miracle with the artificial retroact rain. Have we been mistaken? We have no time left. The artificial controllable tacit field should be complete by now. We'll have to rely on our backup plan. That Fraxidus Overseer has been really generous with his sponsorship. It would have taken us much longer to build this place without him. Though he loves to meddle with our experiments a bit too much. Well, he's our patron. Can't do anything about that. This lab's location is a bit too remote for me. But I'm okay with it, as long as we can keep doing our research. Yeah. Where else could us maniacs possibly go? The committee kicked us out like trash. They'll never understand. As Professor Heisen stated, we are embarking on a monumental endeavor with the power to redefine humanity's future. This time, we will make the divine miracle we saw happen again for all of humanity to behold. Now, this is the last route. Wouldn't hurt to be more prepared. This person. <laughs> Knew it. Great. Now that power's been restored, the elevator should work. The beacon signal is coming from below. Let's go.
Mighty monster! Damn! Those savants never run out of new surprises for us. The signal's coming from it. Did it swallow our resonance beacon? Guys, brace yourself. We'll need to take it down. Alto, we doing it like we usually do? Of course. <laughs> then this big guy is encores to tackle. Cosmos, Cloudy, attack! Let me figure out its weakness. I see. It's coming together from these many parts. We should target its points. Use the fallen parts, counter its attacks, and destroy its unstable structure. It's time. Ready for battle. Fear no more. Job <laughs> Uncle is strong! Told ya! But why did they keep that big guy here? According to our findings earlier, researchers who worked here were probably only a small faction of the Corte Savante Committee. They were likely studying an ancient civilization they deemed to be divine beings. I later got denounced from the CSC due to their extreme methods. Somehow, they believed this ancient civilization had once visited the mire, which led to their attempts at recreating those past events with artificial retroact rain. And when they failed to recreate the retroact rain, they resorted to making a replica of the lost civilization instead to get their desired results faster. They started feeding this replica various frequencies, data sets, and mechanical constructs. <laughs> and we've seen what that ended up with. It turned into a monster, driven by the frequencies of hunger, devouring everything in its path. It was probably the culprit behind the disappearance of those folks. And I suspect the Fraxidus Overseer mentioned in that log may have something to do with it all. Those researchers, they were too obsessed with validating the divine miracle they experienced. They eventually got lured into the monster's frequencies of hunger and willingly walked into its maw. The monster devoured them, but not with its teeth. Their own delusions and fear were their undoing in the end. <laughs> what a crazy bunch. So, Rover, now it's time for me to fulfill my promise. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? As you already know, we monitor and research the Lament, and we've got Resonance Beacons set up in every nation worldwide. The island our headquarters are built on is in fact a massive piece of Tacitite ore, which powers our various energy-intensive operations. This Blake Bloom is a product of that overflowing energy on the island. Our island is located in the perfect spot to accurately monitor the Lament, ensuring precise predictions. That being said, the Lament's behavior is constantly changing, and we are still studying to understand its true nature. All we could do for now is observe the Lament, study its patterns, and provide early warnings to countries worldwide. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? All right, all right, no more beating around the bush. Yeah, we've had our eyes on you. But please, trust me, we don't mean anything bad. We just wanted to make sure you're a dependable ally. The Black Shores members all work together to save the world from the Lament Crisis. We've got talents from all walks of life, including skilled hackers, explosive experts, and even feng shui masters. You name it, we have it. 
We like your skills and methods. So what do you say? Ready to jump on board? What do you want to know about the Black Shores? Camellia? Of course we do! Yeah, she can be kind of unhinged, but she's indeed one of ours. Just so you know. She only took up this mission because of you. Quite the charmer, aren't you? So you've met her already? Nice! Save me some time introducing. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? We just received a warning from our Lament Detection System. Another Thronodian is about to revive near Jinjo City. So, we came here to inform Jinjo's Magistrate about it. Yes, entire countries have been destroyed. We're not letting such tragedies happen again. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? I'm just an insignificant consultant at the Black Shores, so I don't know that much about all its hidden secrets. But I believe the piece of intel I'm about to share with you will make this trip worth your effort. This is not the first time you've been reawakened. Last time, you woke up at the Black Shores. Rover, we share the same goal. We're both aiming to fight against the Thernodians and prevent the Lament Crisis. Yep! Onkar can prove it! The Thrinodian is a bad, bad guy! And Onkar and Alto are the heroes of justice! So we're gonna stop the bad guys! I understand. Trust isn't something you could afford to give out that easily. Remember the Blake Bloom I gave you earlier? It's more than just a symbol. It also holds the key to our headquarters. I'm sure it'll come in handy for you. Phew! Anyway, mission accomplished! We've got the Resonance Beacon secured, plus a sweet bonus of Corda Savante's big secrets. Glad I got you on board, Rover. Looking forward to our future collaborations. Oops, almost forgot. Gotta check the Resonance Beacon again, just in case. Wait, this is... no, it can't be! Hey! Encore heard lightning. When there's lightning, it's gonna rain. And when it's gonna rain, Encore should bring an umbrella. Oh, no, 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 no. Alto said when it rains like this, we hide. No. This is... It's the real retroact rain. This rain, it's finally happening. General. Yes, how's it going? 
We have 500 remaining soldiers prepared and medically cleared for combat. After receiving the antidote for Retroact Rain, they have reported minimal hallucinations and no adverse effects. However, a few veterans still reported sporadic sightings of phantoms in the rain. I see. Stay alert. We will continue as planned. Report any signs of potential TD outbreaks immediately. We march on to the Norfall Barrens as soon as the rain stops. Aye, sir. Stronger emotional connection to the affected area leads to more intense hallucinations. That's what they said. I should go for another round of inspection. Make sure everything is going as planned. General. We've got all equipment repaired, tactic weapons adjusted and given to the resonators. Non-resonators are also equipped and prepared for action. But the rain's getting heavier. Should we take shelter for the time being? One of our combat medics claims it's no ordinary downpour, and he strongly advises holding off any moves until it clears. Though young, his sharp intuition has been proven in previous battles. You've seen it firsthand. However, I do agree this will be our last chance at organizing another attack. Sir, his name is... Gian. General, help, help, please, help me. What do you make of this, Gian? Maybe you are right. The rain just happened out of nowhere. It's indeed unusual, but this is our only chance. The enemy we've been yearning to destroy is finally right before us. And now, you're asking me to sit back and do nothing because of some phantoms. Silence. Is this your response? Or is it fear holding your tongue? No. I see. You're no different. We fear, we bleed, we suffer, and in the end, we'll all die on the battlefield. But what about your brethren? Friends and comrades, as you witness them viciously slain before your eyes, one by one. Will you still remain silent when their souls demand an answer? There is no other choice. We must trample the pile of corpses at our feet and push on. Keep barking orders. Keep fighting until every last one of those monsters is gone. The retroact rain merely creates illusions of past events. My soldiers will not succumb to those hallucinations. I will not allow it. We'll crush anything in our path. No questions asked and I will pave the way for us all with my forte. If tens, hundreds, thousands more of my men will die, so be it. We will win this battle by any means necessary. John, I have a question for you. What would you have done on that day? If you were in my position, whatever you say, I'll never answer those brave souls with such silence and cowardice. Prove yourself to me, Gian. Call your guards in me. 
Just like what happened on that rainy night. Yes, go on. Keep fighting. Wiped out. General Gersh. General Gershu Lin. We fight to protect what we cherish. We cherish our comrades not out of cowardice or fear, but out of trust. The trust in their lives' worth. I cannot assure you I am always making the right choice, General. But we should never build our victory on top of endless sacrifices. <laughs> Is that so? As I see it, you're cut from the same cloth, you and I. Perhaps we are indeed, General. I share at least one thing with you. I too will draw my blade to fight for what I believe in. And I'll stop at nothing to see it through. General. General, you look pale. I am fine. Please go on. We just detected an intense frequency reaction from that tacit field ahead. That moon, it's gradually turning full now, as you predicted. The sky, it looks just like how it was during the battle beneath the crescent. It's time. Sir, the Midnight Rangers are ready. We await your orders. Attention all troops! Take position and get ready to engage. Sir. When the moon turns full, roving travelers shall return. The prophecy is being fulfilled. Here they are. They're not coming at us. Are they trying to protect something, or are they waiting for commands? With a TD outbreak of this magnitude and organization, someone must be orchestrating it. Could it be? It looks almost full now, and the retroact rain falling. Rover? Maybe this is the right time Madam Magistrate was talking about. Citizens of Jinjo, please remain calm and evacuate in an orderly manner as we practiced during previous drills. It's a pre-recorded broadcast message. Our Magistrate saw this coming and she had General Jian devise an emergency plan a long time ago. 
We knew this was coming, and we were ready, but oh boy, the amount of TDs is insane. Thanks for coming in time, Rover. It would have taken us much longer to handle this. Oh, Director Tao Chi is here too. For a better rundown of the situation, you can find her near the city gate. I must send these supplies to our men. You're injured. Please go get yourself patched up first. Chuzia's right. Please leave it to us. We'll help deliver these supplies. Ugh. Okay. Thank you. Rover, Yang Yang and I need to get this stuff delivered. Director Tao Chi should be at the Northern Pass. We'll go meet you there as soon as we're done. Any update on the protective barrier? We've put in all our resources to repair it, but if those tacit discords keep coming at us, it might not hold up for long. Ah, I presume you must be Rover. Hmm, maybe we've met somewhere before. Anyway, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Tao Chi, a director at the Ministry of Development. I'm in charge of our defense fortifications. Thank you for lending us a hand. It's our defense system against the Retroact Rain. It does a good job of keeping the city safe from the rain's effects. Once the protective barrier breaks down, tacit discords could manifest from inside Jinjo City. Rover, remember what I told you earlier? The Retroact Rain is essentially condensed droplets of remnant energy that fall from the Etheric Sea. This remnant energy makes it a magnet for tacit discords. It records events from all times and places, allowing those who come in contact with it to witness illusions of past events. That's what we call the Phantoms of Retroact Rain. It kind of works like how resonators resonate with the world. The more you're exposed to the rain, the more realistic those phantoms become. Oh, and here's another interesting fact about the Retroact Rain. When it's raining across a large area, illusions pulled from the memories of multiple people can manifest at once. Nice catch, Rover. Jin Zhou has been a battleground for centuries. That's why it has to deal with the Thrinodian that represents a concept of war. And wars will lead to deaths. Once the Retroact Rain reaches its final stage, there will be thousands of phantoms. Phantoms of dead soldiers and tacit discords. This is the one major threat that has been looming over Jinjo. Our magistrate ordered the construction of this barrier precisely because of that. Indeed, the phantoms should only mechanically repeat what they had been doing. They shouldn't have the ability to interfere with reality. But the Retroact Rain can be significantly enhanced through the Thrinodian's power. As a result, said phantoms become increasingly realistic, to the point of inflicting real harm on humans. In that battle three years ago, our soldiers got into a gruesome fight against countless tacit discords, either native to Norfolk Barrens or produced by Retroact Rain and endless swarms of phantoms. Phantoms of tacit discords and our fallen soldiers repeated their indiscriminate attacks on everything in their sight. Soldiers could not tell friends from foe. The relentless rain even recreated the brutal deaths of their comrades etched in vivid detail. The Norfolk Barrens turned into a living hell, and to this day, we can still hear the desperate cries. The battle beneath the Crescent was humanity's first recorded encounter with Retroact Rain enhanced by Thrinodian power. Your previous general sent back valuable video recordings of the rain. Those videos provided crucial information which allowed nations worldwide to speed up their research on defense against the Retroact Rain. 
Our people on the Black Shores have theorized that the Thrinodian abnormal moon sightings and the Retroact rain may be linked. Yeah, something like that. But it's only a theory. We don't have enough data to verify anything. So, unfortunately, we can't predict Retroact rains yet, but we know it's closely connected with Thrinodians reviving. The TD outbreaks are another sign. The moon just changed in an instant. If this theory turns out to be true, that means... And Jinjo's dealing with what happened three years ago. The Thrinodians' revival is never an independent occurrence. They could sense one another through some form of telepathic link. The revival of a Thrinodian in Jinzhou will trigger catastrophic events and affect other nations. We gotta hustle back to the teeth of space, recalibrate our lament detector, and warn them before it's too late. Anyway, we'll take our leave now. Please stay safe! That's all we've gathered so far, Rover. The TD outbreaks won't stop before the end of this rain. We must stay alert. Mom, there's another wave of them ahead. <sighs> Speak of the devil. I'll need to take a very long nap after this. Activate the defense mechanisms! Force the outpost, it's still under attack. Let's play hide and seek. Thank you. Some of us are still fighting in there. We must go help them. Much. It's dangerous here. Let's head back first. Uh, please tell me this is the last one. Rover, your moves are sharp as always. Dealing with so many TDs seem like a walk in the park for you. Rover, did you see that? Now, it's almost identical to what we saw three years ago, during the battle beneath the Crescent. I'm afraid... we're already running out of time. Report the situation, please. Madam Magistrate, the barrier's been fully repaired, and we've evacuated all residents. We've successfully minimized the damage. Well done, Director Tauchi. Indeed. It's been a while, Rover. It's been going according to plan, if I may say so. 
I was made aware of this in advance, and planned out our defense beforehand. Now that we are facing such an emergency, I cannot sit back and wait for Jui to save us. I will act and see my duty through. This is my decision. I have secured some much-needed aid for our city during my visit to the capital. Also, our experts should be ready by now. Rover, do you still remember Jui's message for you? Now we have raindrops that fall upstream, and the Midnight Rangers General in the Norfall Barrens, ready to take on the Overthrax. This must be the right time Jui was talking about. Rover, it's going to be dangerous. You might directly confront a Trinodian. Your eyes look as determined as ever. You will be remembered as a heroic ally in our defense against external threats, regardless of the outcome of this battle. May victory prevail the lasting night. I will pray for your safe return. Rover, I have informed border checkpoints across Jinjiao about your trip to the front line. You have been granted unlimited access to all places. Yang Yang, you're one of our outriders. I hope you can go with Rover and provide assistance. You'll need to pass through a tacit field to reach our base in the Desa Rock Highland. Please be careful. Rover, Yang Yang, I'll be keeping the city safe as a patroller. Do come back in one piece, okay? Thanks! I'll give it my all! It seems the rain is not stopping anytime soon. The city... what if... Rest assured, you can count on me! I will keep everyone safe. M me too! Don't forget us, Lion Dance Troop! We got this! <laughs> As you can see, everyone's ready to defend our city. Rover, Yang Yang, safe travels! I've informed General Jian that you're heading to his place. He will be meeting up with you soon. May victory prevail the lasting night! discords nearby have been dealt with. Now the city's defense. Please update me on the situation in Jinjo City. Under Madam Magistrate's command, the barrier has been activated and citizens are being evacuated to the safe zone. Washu Academy and Ministry of Development are on standby for further instructions. The Baiju is overseeing operations at the Academy, while Mortifi has arrived at the Ministry. Rest assured, we are all safe in the city. And that Rover, he is heading over to meet you. Yang Yang is coming with him. I see. We have successfully contained the outbreak here at the base. I will go pick them up as soon as possible. The rain's getting heavier. There are signs of tacit discords reviving. Intense frequency fluctuations detected. They'll be passing through that area. 
I must create a safe passage for them. I need to clear the way for them as quickly as possible. Couple more tacit discords here. Time to get rid of them. Revival has done significant damage to the environment nearby. Things have gotten even more dangerous out here. The closer we get to Norfolk Barrens, the worse it gets. The streams feel heavy with dread and the smell of blood. There must be a brutal fight going down in the Deserok Island. The tacit field directed Tao Chi mentioned should be right up ahead. We must pass through it to reach our base and find General Jian. I wonder what other anomalies await us ahead. Is that the phantoms contain a lot of rain energy? These tacit discords might be coming after it. The rain is spreading across Deserok Island. Chaos growing in the streams. We must hurry. Speeding up. Those oh, soldiers, they are phantoms too. Watch out. The rhetoric brain's effects are worsening. We must proceed with caution. There, another wounded soldier. The streams are stabilizing. I don't feel anything. Are you... Are you Yang Yang? Oh, thank goodness. What happened here? The thundering Mephis. It came back. I'm... I'm part of the Deso Rock Highland supply transport team. This is where our supply station is. We worked to keep our soldiers alive. We were on our way. Had to go through this tacit field. Thundering Mephis. The rain brought it back to life, crushing our transport. In the end, I barely escaped. I can't move anymore. This place, it's dangerous. Careful, please. Watch out! It's him! General D Thundering Mephis! We must bring it down to keep pushing forward. Shake the shakeless! Swift and resolute. I see your weakness. For now. <laughs> Tell truth from the sun. Let me be your blade. The end has come. One with the sounds. Ready for battle. Wind Rider. Sorry. 
Let me be your blade. Be gone! We did it! The thundering Mephis is a blend of countless fallen soldiers' reverberations. As long as more soldiers are still dying here, it will always return. Not to mention, countless souls of our brave soldiers remain trapped in this rain to this day. General... Sorry. I should have arrived sooner. The honor is mine, Rover. Madam Magistrate and Tao Chi have informed me of your willingness to assist us. Thank you for lending us a hand. I should properly welcome you with Huang Lone's formalities, but as the current situation forbids that, I'll brief you on our plans as fast as possible. I've heard about your deeds from Madam Magistrate. You are a trustworthy ally, according to her. Here, Retroact Rain Antidote, developed by the Academy. While the antidote cannot shield you from its effects entirely, it should at least lessen the hallucinations. For someone to show up as a phantom in the Retroact Rain, two conditions must be met. Prior exposure to the rain, and a deep connection to the affected area. You were found in the Gorges of Spirits only recently, and this is your first time setting foot in Jinjo, ruling out that possibility. Moreover, you possess a similar ability with the legendary hero who once absorbed Thrunodian. Jue prophesied about your arrival. I was told you'd come to the Norfall Barrens one day, to reclaim your lost power from Overthrax. I'll do everything in my power to help you make that happen. Yes. Madam Magistrate might not be aware of this as it happened before she was appointed. On the day I was selected to be the next general, Jue told me this. Beneath the full moon, guide the returning one to confront Thranodian. From the threat itself, he shall reclaim the power to conquer it. And if you are indeed the returning one mentioned here, we may actually get rid of that monster once and for all. You might have noticed something off about that moon. We call it the Void Plenilun. Once it fully takes shape, Overthrax, the Thranodian of War, would be reawakening soon. It is an ancient terror that reigns over our land, capable of devouring weapon frequencies to enhance itself. The Norfall Barons have become a massive graveyard of weapons after countless battles. Those weapons would have made it even stronger than before. But we must act now. The Void Plenilune is already visible. We must contain the Thranodian swiftly. Any delay could allow it to recover and become harder to deal with. To remain calm in such an extreme situation, your composure is admirable indeed. We'll get into the specifics once we reach our base. I've taken care of all the tacit discords nearby on my way here. The path ahead should be relatively safe now. Keep going and we'll reach the base soon. Thrax's towering statue, built from repurposed weapons and debris, 
has long loomed over Jinjo as a foreboding symbol of our ongoing struggle. We managed to gravely injure it three years ago, making the statue sink into the water. And now it just resurfaced. Our enemy must be eager to strike. The Vanguard base is right up ahead. Let's hurry over. Greetings, General. Master Tianxing? Didn't know I'd be seeing you here. Jianxin recently arrived at our base with one of the supply delivery teams. She has been a great help. <sighs> General, you flatter me. I've heard people comparing the Norfolk Barrens to a massive graveyard. Whenever it rains, cries and moans can be heard as if many ghosts are weeping. Master once told me, life and death should follow a natural course. The heavens and the earth form a vast chamber where spirits freely depart and return. Countless brave souls have been trapped here by the evil powers of Overthrax. I want to help set them free. Please follow me. Our main goal is to contain the reviving Thronodian, but we must beware of the tacit discords too. They have shown unpredictability in every past battle. The Academy determined they were not native to the Norfall Barons, and instead had been conjured by a mysterious power. After analyzing their behavior, I believe the source of said power is none other than that statue. While the Overthrax is still weakened, we must seize the opportunity to act. With looming danger from the continued onsets of TD outbreaks and many of our units injured and unable to fight, it is crucial to plan our attack wisely. Please, join me in mapping out the strategic plans. I have split all combat units into three factions. The ranged units team will provide fire support from afar, while the infantry team engages in close combat. Lastly, we have the special task force of Rover, Yang Yang, Janshin, and me. Allow me to introduce Kong Lin, leader of the ranged units team. And this is Yue Hui. He's in charge of the infantry team. This is a topographical map of the Norfall Barrens. The Overthrax's power limits our reach. Outrider scouts can't go beyond the Norfolk Barrens and Valley Junction. The deepest we ventured was three years ago, when we discovered the suspended ruins in its hinterland. But the terrain is treacherous, narrow and flanked by high cliffs on both sides leaving only one path for our troops to travel. On the other hand, our enemies must take the same route if they want to attack us. With the Overthrax reorganizing their frequencies and bringing them back, we will face endless waves of attacks. Every time we cut down an enemy, it gains more power. Time is of the essence. We cannot afford a prolonged battle. We must swiftly and safely get our strongest units in the heart of the battlefield, reach that statue, and take down Overthrax in time. Rover, let's plan carefully and use each team's strength to our advantage. First, our ranged units. Armed with long-range weapons, they can strike from a distance. But we need to strategize based on the terrain, topography, and enemy forces. If we manipulate the terrain to our advantage, our strikes will be more effective and cover a larger range. Where should we deploy the ranged units? Deploying our ranged units high above the valleys in advance. This way, they'll provide cover for our close combat forces while staying safe themselves. We'll use their range advantage to the fullest. It's a smart move. Next, the infantry. They have been trained and equipped for close combat. The heart of Norfall Valley is our main battleground, where we'll fight our enemies head on. We need to plan our attack wisely. How should the infantry engage enemy targets? The 
Now that the narrow terrain has dictated an inevitable confrontation, the infantry will attack head on, breaking their line. Then our task force can strike where they're vulnerable. A reasonable choice. Lastly, the special task force, all resonators with powerful abilities, they have superior mobility and combat skills. If the chance arises, they will be responsible for taking down the Overthrax. What should the special task force do? We'll join our effort to break through their defenses and crush their source of power. This is the only way to completely rout the enemies. It's a risky but necessary move under our current circumstances. Thank you, Rover. The battle plan is clear. I will now recap our plan. Kong Lin, your team will take the cliffs for fire support. Yue Hui, your team will charge enemy lines to pave way for the special task force. Yes, yes sir. sir! And I'll join Rover, Yang Yang, and Jian Xin to create an opening for our main forces and take down the Thrinodian. Good. Are we all clear on what to do? Our next move is to reclaim the disruptor and break through the ground wave barrier. Rover, do you see that iridescent veil? That's the ground wave barrier. Overthrax set it up to absorb frequencies in the Norfall Barrens without interruption. One of our top priorities now is to protect the disruptor from tacit discord attacks. It's a powerful anti thrinodian weapon from when Jinjo was founded. We need it to break through this barrier. I'll leave it to the professional to explain the details. Greetings, General GM, Rover. How's the preparation going on your side? We've got good news and bad news. Good news is we've established connection to the disruptor and we're ready to go. Bad news is the disruptor's electric capacitor is damaged. Simply put, it's out of power. Fortunately, there should be a backup power outlet. To use the disruptor, we'll have to repair that outlet first, then wait for a full charge. Any questions? In theory, we could. In practice, it's difficult. First, it could dodge our attack. Not even a perfect hit can kill it. It will be gravely injured, but not dead. Thronodians have been proven to be way stronger than we imagined. Our disruptor can't handle the Overthrax, but it can certainly break through that barrier. Any questions? That's because this ancient disruptor dates back at least to the founding of Jinjo. Creating such a powerful weapon with limited technology back then, whoever did it was truly a genius, I must say. If we were to unleash its full power on Jinjo City, it might launch the entire place into the air. Any questions? I can, but it takes time. No matter how fast I build it, Jinjo won't be able to hold out that long. Any questions? By the way, this is a weapon of mass destruction. The capital would want strict control over its use, I assume. Will they really approve our application? The Magistrate and I have it covered. Trust me. All right. We'll be waiting for the green light. Lastly, we've got more bad news. Baija, please fill us in. Yes. Rover, I am currently monitoring the tacit discord attacks from the Academy to design a safer route for you. We just received word from our soldiers at the emplacement. A large number of tacit discords are targeting the disruptor, and our troops are doing their best to defend it. The disruptor has been surrounded by the tacit discords, with more of them slowly closing in. After we recapture the nearby emplacement, it will take some more time for the disruptor to recharge. You may need to hold out a little longer. I'll send you the coordinates of the disruptor and its backup energy port. We wish you the best of luck. I trust we all understand the situation now. Rover, Yang Yang, please go and secure the disruptor and fix its backup energy outlet. Jian Xin, please stay and guard the base. I'll draw those tacit discords away.
Let's get moving. Monsters have occupied the emplacement with a surprise attack, but a few brave troops are still holding on. We've blocked off access to protect our base, but I'm opening it up for you. Please, they need your help. We're counting on you. Let's 
swift and resolute. I can take it. Tempest! The hour is upon us. Let the winds roar. Swift and resolute. One with the sounds. Let me be your blade. Synchronization. Well done. The rain has stopped. General, the Retroact rain's effects are subsiding. We are observing a sharp decline in the number of TDs in the Norfall Barrens. The disruptor is fully charged and ready to fire, but... It takes a lot of energy to fire the disruptor. If we missed... This is our only chance. Greetings. Can you hear me? As the Magistrate of Jinjo, I have obtained the approval to use the disruptor in combat. The enormous energy consumption, the risk of a misfire, and the weight of this decision... I will bear the responsibility. I alone will be accountable for the outcome of this battle, whatever it may be. General, Rover, please march on. May victory prevail the lasting night. I pray for your safe return. Thank you for your trust, Madam Magistrate. No need for that, General. We've always shared the same goal, you and I. Attention all units. Do everything you can to assist. You are authorized to use the disruptor. Target the Norfall Barons. Defend Jinjo at all costs! This is a testament to my connection with
We'll shake them off. Use your grapple now. Master Tianxing. There's too many of them. Someone must stay behind to keep them at bay. Everyone, let's part ways here. Carry on with your mission. You can leave the rest to me. Yang Yang, Rover, follow me. We're going down from here. Mind the cliff! Rover, are you all right? Stay sharp. More tacit discords incoming. No hesitation. One with the sound. Set. Wind rider. Tell truth with the sound. The suspended ruins are ahead of us. The resonance beacon here is still functioning, and the defense feature is intact, too. We can catch our breath here. The Overthrax assault has been as brutal as expected. We've been cut off from our main forces. It's the three of us against all of them from here. Master Tianxing, I hope she's okay. I tried to contact her and our base, but nothing came back. The Thranodian's power is possibly interfering with terminal signals. We have no choice but to trust them now. Let's press on. We're bound to face a vicious fight. We've reached the suspended ruins. We'll get going once you're ready. Unusually quiet. This wall. We should be able to pull it away with our grapple. Every path ahead has been cut off. We're not seeing anything at the moment. Rover, be careful. Something bigger might be waiting for us ahead. Creating a tacit discord at this level. But it won't stop us. The end has come. One of the sounds. Wind Rider! The enemies are increasingly strong as we approach the statue. Have you been injured, Rover, Yang Yang? I'm okay, but Rover... Give me your hand. <laughs> Knew it. The battle has left you with a few scratches. I still have some first aid with me. Please use them. The upcoming battles will be even more dangerous. Should you get injured, you must let me know in time. Let's keep moving. Several floating platforms ahead. Perhaps we can make use of them. Watch out! I can feel. 
real tacit discords ahead. Let the winds roar. What were the sounds? The hour is upon us. Let me be your blame. Synchronization. Finale! These rocks are blocking our way. We'll need to get rid of them. Finally. Rover, you hear me? Our signals got blocked off by the Thronodian's power. It took us a lot of effort to make this call get through. But I have to say, your terminal has a very intriguing design. We'd love to thoroughly investigate it once we have the chance. Now back to business. We are aware of your situation. Luckily, your current location is still within the Disruptor's range. We can provide fire support. You've seen what the Disruptor is capable of. We can turn down the output power, but I strongly advise finding cover far away. The structure of this building is almost entirely destroyed. We'll need to create a safe space where we can take cover. There is a floating platform over there. Perhaps we can make use of it. <laughs> Aim at that wall. We can pull ourselves up. Mortify, it's time. Understood. Watch out, everyone. We did it. The disruptor's power is down to one third. We can only fire it one more time. After that, it needs to recharge. Take care, everyone. I'm on standby to help you anytime. Let's try pulling the floating boulders together. This should make our path ahead. One moment, Rover. many enemies along the way. I couldn't have made it past them so fast without you. We're almost there. The statue's power is getting stronger. I can feel it. We don't have much time left. 
Let's move on. see a gravity stream ahead. It's currently blocked off. We'll pull the rocks away first, then let it carry us up there. It wouldn't hurt to be more prepared. Give it a couple more goes. Almost there. We finally did it. We'll reach the top soon. is completely blocked off. You choose where the Disruptor's last blast hits. Make it count, Rover. May it cleave out a path for us. This amount of enemies, we cannot fire the disruptor again. Yang Yang, you. The Trinodian is only going to summon more of them as we go. We need someone to keep them away and escort the others into the statue. I understand you're planning to do it yourself, General. But I think I am better suited for this task. We all want to beat the Thrinodian once and for all. I understand that you don't want to leave anyone behind. But we all know you and Rover have the best chance against that monster. Now that our shared goal is within hand's reach, I... I... Do not want to let it slip away. Indeed, Yang Yang. Turns out I was the one being indecisive. Now, Rover, please make the call. I'll stand guard here. The Thrinodian will not be able to draw more power from the monsters. I'll leave the rest to you.
It seems the culprit is hidden deep within this statue. This will be our final battle with this Renodian. Rover, are you ready? That's the spirit. Let's bring an end to this war once and for all. That's another moon. What on earth is happening? The Crownless. The Threnodian has reconstructed its frequencies. That moon has cannibalized the Crownless's remaining frequencies to create another monster. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm Watch out for its ranged attacks! Rover, have you noticed? It avoids attacking the moon behind. That moon must be the core of our enemy. This thing is weakening. I'll shoot it through its attacks. Rover, find a chance to strike its core. Copied my weapon already, huh?
as the conceptualization of war, somehow it opted to flee instead of fighting us properly. <laughs> Rover, is that... This place is collapsing soon. Let's get out of here first. <gasps> An unexpected discovery. Gather round, I have a tale to spin. Our feather-haired maiden faces a horde of beasts. And just in time, a ray of light. Sunbeams burst through the clouds, banishing darkness out of sight. From the statue emerged two, guess who we have? None other than General Jian and the legendary rover. And lo, ruins fell, a colossus shattered, the Overthrax meets its defeat. Mountains and rivers exulted in glee as the war's finale came to be. As they say, why fear when fate is ours to shape? Amidst setbacks, heroes will rise to conquer. Their determination fuels the fire of hope in our darkest hour. Under starlit skies we battled, divine moon roaring above. Now victorious, our songs of triumph shall shake the clouds. And our story goes on.